Good eye. Oh, Miss Kubernick. I've been waiting for you. Yeah. I almost didn't recognize you. This is the first time I've ever seen you in civilian clothes. Uh, How'd everything go on the 27th floor? Oh, you're great. Look, have you seen the music band? No. Would you like to? Sure. Yeah, I thought maybe we'd get a bite to eat first, and then we go. Oh, you mean tonight? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm meeting somebody. Oh. You mean, like a, a girlfriend? No, like a man. I wasn't trying to be personal. It's just the fellas in the office. They were wondering about you, you know, if you ever... You tell them now and then. This date, is it uh, just a date, or is it something serious? Well, it used to be serious. At least I was, but he wasn't. So now the whole thing's more or less kaput. Oh, in that case, couldn't you? No, I'm afraid not. I promised I'd have a drink with him. He's been calling me all week. I, uh, I understand. Well, it was, uh, just an idea. I hate to see a theater ticket go to waste. What time does the show go on? 8.30. Well, I could meet you at the theater, if that's all right. All right, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's uh, majestic on 44th Street. I'll meet you in the lobby, okay? Yeah. You know, I felt so lousy this morning. I had 101 fever. Now, along with my promotion and us, 11th row center. You said I should have stayed there. How is your cold? What cold? After the show, we could go out on the town. I've been taken from Arthur Murray. <laughs> so I see. There's a great little band at El Chico, the village. Try to put around a corner from where you live. Sounds good. How do you know where I live? Oh, I well, know who you live with. Sister and brother-in-law. And I know when you were born and where. I know all sorts of things about you. How come? Oh, a couple of months ago, I looked up your card in the <laughs> group insurance file. <laughs> I know your height and your weight and your social security number. You had bumps and measles <laughs> and you had your appendix out. Don't mention the appendix to the fellas in the office, okay? I wouldn't want them to get the wrong idea about how you found out. Bye. <laughs>